Hi there. We're going to take a quick look at how vCloud Usage Meter enables cloud providers to monetize vRealize operations. Cloud providers today already rely on vRealize operations to monitor their hosting environments. Utilizing this tool to optimize their infrastructure, it enables them to run more workloads, improve efficiency, and proactively troubleshoot environment risks to improve the health of the environment. In the VMware Cloud Provider program, vRealize Operations is not just a tool for monitoring your cloud environment. It can also be an additional solution to provide to your customers. Some partners provide vRealize Operations as a tenant-facing tool, allowing customers to see the health of their virtual infrastructure and understand their current utilization. And some partners use vRealize Operations as their advanced monitoring toolkit for their managed services offering when they're working with customer-owned environments or bring-your-own license environments. They do this to not only monitor the health of the environment, but to provide scheduled and branded environment health reports to the customers. Let's take a look at these two scenarios and see how Usage Meter 3.6 supports monitoring as a service. The first option that I mentioned is for partners that utilize vCloud Director. In this scenario, a partner can provide their tenants with access to a vRealize Operations multi-tenant portal. This is done by adding the vCloud Director management pack to vRealize Operations. You then deploy the tenant app appliance, which provides the interface that the tenants will see. Both of these can be found on Solution Exchange. This is a great way for partners to give tenants a look at their virtual infrastructure and see various dashboards for the environment health. Now, every tenant may or may not be utilizing this service, so we need to configure both vRealize Operations and Usage Meter to make sure we are metering the right objects and reporting correctly. As an administrator within vRealize Operations, you will need to create a local admin user that has permission to view only the virtual machines which are being utilized in the service. As an example, virtual machine one belongs to a tenant that uses the service. Virtual machine two belongs to a tenant that does not. Our newly created local administrator has permissions to view virtual machine one, but not virtual machine two. Once you've completed mapping the users for all objects that are monitored by any of your tenants or your administrators, we then take that user and provide the credentials to vCloud Usage Meter for the vRealize Operations endpoint. Now, Usage Meter will only see the objects that are actively part of this service. Just make sure to update the mapping and user view permissions when you onboard a new tenant for the service. Now, the second business model that I mentioned is using vRealize Operations as part of your managed services offering. In this case, the customer owns the vSphere licensing and hardware located in their environment, or the customer is part of a bring your own license environment, and you are managing the environment for them. This means that you are not metering the vSphere usage as part of the VMware Cloud Provider program. In this scenario, you have vRealize operations running in your cloud hosting environment, monitoring your production workloads. And you would extend vRealize operations to also monitor to the workload running in the customer's environment as well. The customer's vCenter server in this instance is not connected to usage meter. For this scenario to work, you would need to make sure that there is a way to connect from your hosting environment to the customer's network. In usage meter's monthly usage report, you will see that the usage shows up as VMware vRealize operations unmanaged. If you recall, we are not connecting the customer's vCenter server. So the reason it shows up as unmanaged is because the virtual machines reported on that line do not match any of the virtual machines in the connected vCenter servers. If you are offering the service to multiple customers and utilizing the same vRealize operations deployment, the usage meter will group the unmanaged usage based on the vCenter server UUID and license key addition. So you can see how many units come from each environment monitored and which addition to report. Make sure to report this usage as standalone vRealize operations in the business portal. Another option is to deploy the vRealize operations appliance within the customer's environment. If this is the route you choose to take, make sure to also run a usage meter appliance in the customer's environment and designate the vSphere host keys as perpetual. If you're using vRealize Operations advanced or standard license keys, the usage will automatically be reported as standalone. But if you want to use vRealize Operations Enterprise, make sure to go onto the Manage page on the Reports tab and select Report vRealize Operations Enterprise Usage as Standalone. 
So as you can see, whether you offer customers access to the Viewerless operations through a tenant application or utilize it as part of your managed services offering, vCloud Usage Meter can support these models and help you build your cloud provider business. If you're looking for more information on vCloud Usage Meter, check out the product page on cloud.vmware.com.